St. Charles Church. St. Charles Church was built in the 17th century by Fabrizio Guarino Jr. following a miracle. The Baron fell sick. He was unable to hire doctors with such skills that could heal him. So he asked for the intercession of St. Charles Borromeo, vowing to build the church in his honor. The fever immediately disappeared and the Baron, now healed, had the church built in front of his castle. The church was the first in Terra d'Otranto and in any case one of the first in the kingdom dedicated to St. Charles Borromeo. In fact, he was sanctified in 1610 and the parish was established in 1619, replacing St. John's. The sober facade is embellished by a beautiful gate, framed by a decoration of acanthus leaves and topped by an architrave with floral patterns. Latin inscription on the facade is dated 1661. The date probably refers to the reconstruction of the presbytery that was damaged by the collapse of the bell tower a few years after its completion. The portal is surmounted by a broken tympanum with the monogram JHS in the center. Higher up is a large oval window with grating. The bell tower features a very simple line, the top, anyway, is in Baroque style. Inside, the church has a double aisle. It is not known whether the right one is contemporary to the left one or is the result of a later remodeling. Surely, it dates back at least to 1664, the year in which the altar dedicated to the Annunciation of Mary was built and placed there. The left aisle, which is larger, has three bays and features the stone high altar on the presbytery, which unfortunately has lost its original coloring due to the restoration work and bears the university's coats of arms on its sides. On the left side, on the large aisle, there are three altars, the first dedicated to Our Lady of the Rosary from the 18th century, holds a 17th century painting from the Catalano School, the second dedicated to the patron saint St. Charles from the 17th century is very rich in Baroque style and well represents the artistic technique and chromatic sensitivity of the time. The third dedicated to the Immaculate Virgin from the late 18th century is characterized by rococo lines and holds three polychrome stone statues likely realized by Placido Buffelli. In the right side aisle, an altar dedicated to Our Lady of Mount Carmel shows the vein and some stucco portions. Another one is dedicated to the Annunciation, commissioned by Giovanni Antonio de Capo in 1664 with the adjoining family tomb. It stands out for its exuberant Baroque modeling, characterized by finely decorated twisted columns. Several artifacts inside the religious building are available, among others that one of the patron saint and that depicting the Immaculate Conception, wooden and probably of Neapolitan import, evidence of the lively relationship between the local patrician class and the capital, and that of the Madonna of the Rosary, probably of Salento manufacture.